Hey folks, Tanner Cherney here of Devil's Lake Tourism. As you can tell, I'm out in the garage in my boat, kind of getting things organized and ready. Um, won't be long, hopefully, before the long rods will be able to come out for shore. Uh, in regard to ice over the last week, things have definitely changed quite a bit. As you pretty well are aware, um, we've had some warmer days, um, some wind, and a lot of that snow we had this winter is now melted on the ice and there's a lot of standing water, which with the wind is really ripping that ice apart. So there's a few people venturing out here or there, but uh, for the most part, it's pretty much the last call for ice out there um you know it doesn't take much with a little bit of warm weather and some open water for those shorelines to give way and the last thing you want to do is be stuck out on the ice when you can't figure out how to get off the shore um, so if you are going out be very careful bring a buddy really test the conditions as you get out there um, but for those that are getting antsy for open water i'm right there with you and over the next few weeks here you know we've got a really good amount of moisture a lot of snow and when that stuff starts to run in these coolies especially last year we had a four foot rise this year, I'm, I'm not remembering what the prediction is, but there's definitely be some influx of water coming into the system, which is gonna in turn make for a really good shore fishing bite. So as soon as we get a little bit of water coming through, a little bit of those bridge areas opening up, it won't be long here in the next few weeks before we'll start to dust off the long rods and chase some spring walleye. So I wanted to give a couple tips as uh, we get closer to those dates of being able to actually officially shore fish for walleyes on a way to prepare yourself, be ready. So when it does get to be that time, you've got everything hooked up, you're ready to roll. Um, when it comes to spring walleye fishing, especially from shore, but it can be also from a boat as well. One of the main things on Devil's Lake is such a simple tactic and it's just a simple jig with a plastic. So I've got just a quarter ounce jig here with a twister tail and same thing here. I've got another quarter ounce jig with a paddle tail. Um, there's all kinds of different brands out there. And as you can see, I hooked myself, you know, just never know how sharp your hooks are. Clearly that one is sharp, but when you're getting ready for the spring, right now is the time to go to your local bait shop, get yourself a, a variety of different jigs, colors, sizes, but I honestly like the quarter ounce because it's a great one to pitch from your boat. It's also a great one to pitch from shore. You're not getting hung up in rocks and stuff. It's, a, it's heavy enough to get down there to a deeper depth when you are, let's say in summer, so it's versatile, but yet in the springtime when you're shallow, it's enough to just skim right off the bottom. So here's what I just like to pack. We've got a variety of different colors. Um, obviously some staples that I've really liked in the springtime are pink, white, and orange. But not to say other colors aren't gonna fire up during the day, depending on conditions, water temps, all that thing, clarity. Um, so I like to say just best to have a variety. And right now is the time to stock up on that. Last thing you wanna do is uh, come up, spend a couple days up here and find out that there's a particular color that's working the best and only to go to the bait shop to figure out that they've been sold out. So now is the time to stock up with that. Um, when it comes to paddle tails, plastic tails, twister tails, there's all kinds of different options. You know, you've got power bait, you've got Charlie Brewer sliders, you've got the uh, Authentic X from Be Fishing. Um, I have a wide variety over the last decade that I've collected and kept, and I wanted to share one simple tactic. There's nothing worse than getting into a hot bite and trying to find your particular tail, particular color, whatever it is. So what I've gone through, and this is just a simple thing you can do while you're waiting for uh, open water season to kick in, is take a hole punch, or even some of these you don't need a hole punch, they've got the hole right on the top of the bag, and take just a simple clevis like I've got here. And this is a simple way that you can keep your um, plastics organized in your boat, your tackle box, your pickup, wherever you are. And you can just flip through and see, all right, how many of each color you have. In particular, you can, you can basically separate them by color or you know, actual particular action or brand. I kind of do it by brand. So here's again, another example. I've got all my Charlie Brewer sliders and you can just flip through and see the color options that I have and how many are left. So it's a great way to e fire through those when you are in a hot bite or at the end of the day, it's a good way to say, all right, I need to go to the bait shop and pick up some more of this color for tomorrow. Um, just a quick, quick, simple tip that hopefully you can use on your next trip up here to Devil's Lake. And next week we'll have a, another tip and hopefully within the next two to three weeks, We'll be out there chasing fish with the, with the long rod. So I uh, hope everyone has a great weekend. If you do venture out on the ice, be very careful. Um, take a buddy. It's just like late early ice. Late ice can be so dicey here and there. But uh, nevertheless, if you are out and about, whether it's snow goose hunting, doing some hiking on some of our trails out at Whitehorse Hill or Rams Island right now, use hashtag Devil's Lake ND, and we'll see you next week.